get ready to match the star. The star of Quick Kids Challenge, Jonathan Prince. From the Golden Girls, Betty White. Match game zone, Charles Nelson Riley. From Mama's Family, Vicki Lawrence. From Out of This World, Joe Lasky. And from Just the Ten of Us, Deborah Harmon. As we play the all-new star-studded Match Game. And here's the star of Match Game, Russ Schaefer. Thank you very much. Welcome to Match Game. <laughs> nice to have all of you here. Hello, stars. Hello, Hello. That was very nice. Nice and unison there. <laughs> now, now, Jonathan, you have to tell us the, the Quiz Kids Challenge. Right. What is that? Now, tell us what that is. It's a new show that will be on this fall, and it's three kids, age 8 to 13, playing in a, a game show against three college-educated adults answering really tough questions. And no who's, contest. Yeah. yeah, no contest. The kids usually win. The kids win, win like 65% of the time. Well, what would be a typical question? Give us a... a... Okay. Uh, geography question. Multiply the number of Great Lakes by the number of states in the Union that touch the Pacific Ocean. What do you oh. get? You get more lakes? Is that what you said? 20 is wrong. 25 is right. Five Great Lakes, five states touch the Pacific. Five Great Lakes. I need Count. Oh. oh. I said three. Right. Let's, uh, let's meet our contestants today. Jeff, it's good to see you again. Jeff, you've... Uh, boy, you've done well. $23,650, and remind the folks what it is you do for a living. I'm part-time pilot in the Navy, a reserve pilot flying Strike Rescue. Yeah, Strike Rescue. Right. Yeah. Ooh, you're on a rescue mission now. Wendy, hello. How are you? Hi, Welcome to Match Game. You? Now, what, what do you do? Well, um, I teach English as a second language. And as a second language? Mm -hmm. Which is your first? What is your first? <laughs> My first is English, and my yeah. second is English. See, I couldn't trip you up, could I? <laughs> well, good. See, we, we, this is a game that we do in English, so you should do well at this game. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's play. Uh, let's play match game. As you know, the goal here is to match as many of the celebrities as you can. Every correct match is worth fifty dollars, and the one who scores the most at the end of the game wins the money. Gets to play super match and a shot at ten thousand dollars. Jeff, we'll uh, go with you first. You have your choice of A or B. Let's go with B. You're gonna go with B first. All right, here we go. Mm. Stars. Ivan, the inventor, said, "I just developed an amazing new car. Instead of gasoline, it runs on beer. <laughs> the only drawback is that every ten miles, it blanks." <laughs> I know, this, you have to be careful. Yep. He was there on Betty had such a concerned so look when you're... There are so many choices. All right, Joe's in. Okay, everybody's in there, Jeff. Ivan the Inventor has this new car that runs on beer, and the only problem is that every 10 miles, it... Burps. It burps. Yeah. <laughs> it does, it burps. Okay, uh, Jonathan, let's see how you do with this. The only drawback is every 10 miles, this car... It burps. It burps. <laughs> Belches. I wasn't sure you could say burps on TV, Jeff, so I put burps, and then the British version, belches. Belches. Funny yes. <laughs> with Belgium. Betty, what, what do you think about this car that runs on beer? Well, I know when I have to go, I stop. It stops. It stops. <laughs> Charles, I'm working on questions for Jonathan show. If you multiply all the pizza parlors <laughs> in Venice by the rivers that run through Chile and Bolivia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. Okay, Vicky. The only problem with this car is that every 10 miles, it... Well, I guess the ladies are, you know, with the same thing happens to us. It, it, oh. it, it tinkles. Oh, it tinkles. <laughs> Bail us out, will you? Yeah, Belches. Yeah, we'll take that. Deborah? Yeah? This car? I'm very happy to say that I can help Jeff out here because my dad was also pilot in the Navy. I have burps. Ah, uh, burps, burps, burps. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Four matches. Jeff, you got 200. All right. Uh, let's see how you do, Wendy. Here's the A question. 
Dumb Donald is so dumb. How How is he? How is he? He? Well, I have the answer right here. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks that blank is a virgin. <laughs> dumb Donald is so dumb, he thinks that blank is a virgin. <laughs> Vicky. Okay, Charles, how are you doing? Fine. You've got it? <laughs> okay, and Vicky's in. Everybody's in. Wendy, your turn. Dumb Donald is so dumb, he thinks that blank is a virgin. Zsa Zsa Gabor. That would, that would be dumb. That would be that'd be uninformed. That would... <laughs> Jonathan? I, I thought that dumb Donald was so dumb that he thought Madonna was a virgin. Yeah. He's got a so virgin in the night, so yes. Madonna. Yeah. Madonna. Now, this is a match, believe it or not. You could tell when you're getting old. Yeah. I spelt it wrong. Oh, look at that. He's so dumb that he thinks I'm that impressed. blank. I never thought. I said Madonna. Madonna. Yeah. Okay, Joe. I want you to know that I was brought up in the match game and that I thought dumb Donald was always really dumb. <laughs> His mom. His mom. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We're looking for Jaza, Deborah. Well, I'm I'm going back to Mary Tyler Moore days, and I was going to say Betty White. <laughs> You have, uh, you have 50, you got one match out of that. Jeff, you have 200. We're going to be back with matchup where they're going to build their score against the clock in a moment. Please, stay with us. Okay, welcome back. At the end of the first round, the score is 200 for Jeff, 50 for Wendy, and now it's time for matchup. This is where you can build up your score by playing against the clock. And Wendy, since you're trailing right now, we'll start with you. You can play with any one of our stars. Who would you like to play with? Um, I'd like to play with Betty, please. I'd like to play with Betty, then. All right. Now, we're going to show you a series of possible matchups. Okay. And use the button on your secret screen there to select what you feel is the best answer. And then every time that Betty matches you, you'll get $50. You'll get 30 surprised. seconds on the clock. Get as many as you can. <laughs> Betty, are you ready? Uh, I'm, I'm always ready. Thank You're you. always ready. <laughs> See, I Don't told you my answer. Okay, and Wendy? <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> hamburger blank. Hamburger bun. Hamburger helper. Oh, I hammer Gabon. I'm sorry. Match. Security blank. Security guard, security blanket. Security blanket. Match. True blank. True love, true blue. True love. Match. Comic blank. Comic relief, comic strip. Comic strip. Match. Sesame blank. Sesame seed, Sesame Street. Sesame Street. No match. Fort blank. Fort Lauderdale, Fort Knox. Oh, we're out of time. Betty! Oh, we got... Four matches. That's very good, Wendy. Very good. Okay, Jeff. It's your turn to play matchup. Uh, who would you like to play with? Uh, I think I'll play with Joe. Hi, Joe. Jeff. How you doing? Joe Alaski. All right, fifty dollars. Remember this: every time you get a match, fifty bucks. Okay. We'll put thirty seconds on the clock. Get as many as you can. You ready, Joe? Ready. Okay, Jeff. Go. Pearl blank. Pearl Bailey. Pearl Harbor. Pearl Bailey. Match. Spare blank. Spare change, spare tire. Spare change. No match. Jumbo blank. Jumbo shrimp, jumbo jet. Jumbo jet. Match. Orange blank. Orange crush, orange juice. Orange crush. Match. Drag blank. Drag race, drag net. Drag net. No match. Kitty blank. Kitty cat, kitty litter. Kitty cat. No match. J blank. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, you got two matches. Score is 350 and 250, and we're going to take a little break. Come back with more match game right after these words. Welcome back. Yeah, Jeff, you've got 350. Wendy, right now you're behind, so we're going to start with you. Make a selection questionnaire. Um, B, please. Oh, B. Okay. Here goes stars. Bob the Bachelor. Bob the Bachelor said, I think Sally is a little too anxious to get married. On our very first date
Okay, Debra got hers in. I'm sure. And for good, Wendy. Uh, Bob the Bachelor said. Shocked and perturbed. I think. Uh, come on, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sally is a little too anxious to get married on her very first date. She brought along a marriage license. A marriage license. <laughs> They were just thinking of something else, don't worry. <laughs> All right, we're looking for marriage license, Jonathan. Uh, on that very first day, she was too anxious to get married. She brought along... I was uh... going to put marriage license, I promise. And then I thought maybe judge, and then I thought a minister. Ah, uh, see, that might have been... That was a pretty good one, Betty. Back in my day, it would have been a nighty, but now that's such old hat, I veil. A veil? <laughs> You were always told to wear a veil when you went out, weren't you? I still am. I, I'm a preacher. A preacher. Uh, I'm still looking for a married license, but Sally's too anxious to get married. Vicky, on her first date, she brought along a... It crossed my mind, that pesky license. I said she brought a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joe. Well, Brother Ross, I'm afraid she brought along a preacher. A preacher. A preacher. A preacher. <laughs> Still, uh, still no match. Can you, can you please match Mary's no, license? Well, please? I can't, but they're going to like my answer because I copied off of Vicky. Oh, shotgun. Shot yeah, because you like that. <laughs> <laughs> and any matches? No matches, but we do have another question here for you, Jeff. Donald Trump said. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What did Donald Trump say? See, you're dying to know, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Right. Life is no fun when you're broke. No. No. <laughs> I used to live in a penthouse, but these days uh -oh. I live in a blank. Oh. <laughs> I live in a blank house. In a blank house. And, and Vicky's in. Okay, Jeff. Donald Trump said life is no fun when you're broke. I used to live in a penthouse, but these days I live in a... Outhouse. Outhouse. Oh. <laughs> okay, Jonathan. Well, I was thinking of Ivana, so I was going to say doghouse, but I said outhouse. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you think of Donald Trump if he were poor? Uh, well, if he were poor... Where would he live? In a... I don't think I'd even think about him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just catching on to this game, and I'm trying as hard as I can, but they boo at the drop of a hat. Out. Yeah! Uh, yes, Charles. Now in they say a bacaza. Uh, <laughs> out, out. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, see, I thought out, house. Now don't oh. yell at me. Because everybody's taking pot shots at him. I said a glass house. A glass house. A glass house. That's clever. They're so <laughs> They liked you a minute ago. Joe. I know. Joe, is, is an outhouse in the offing here? Doghouse. Yeah. Okay, Deborah, can you match, can you match out house here? No, well, the poor Donald has to live in the dog. In the dog house. Sorry. Jeff, you're doing a very nice job. You're 500 you yeah. have, but when do you have 250? Yeah. It is time now for us to play final matchup. This is final matchup. Whoever wins this round wins the game and a chance to play for a possible $10,000. Now, Wendy, you're trailing at this point, so you go first. Who do you want to play with? Uh, I'd like to play with Jonathan, please. Okay, Jonathan Thank Prince. Thank you, Wendy. All right, now this time, a matchup is going to be worth $100 instead of 50, and we're going to put 45 seconds on the clock instead of 30. All right, get as many as you can in the 45 seconds. Remember, you have 250. Go as far as you can, but you must get at least 500 to stay in the game. Okay. All right, let's get 45 seconds on the clock. Jonathan, you ready? Sure. Uh-huh. And Wendy? I thought you wanted me to put 45 on the clock. No. Go. Blank ring. Wedding ring, boxing ring. Wedding ring. Match. Blank file. Rank and file, nail file. Nail file. No match. Blank roll. French roll, drum roll. Drum roll. Match. Blank puck. Wolfgang puck, hockey puck. Hockey puck. No match. Blank scotch. Butterscotch, hopscotch. Hopscotch. Match. Blank museum. Wax museum, art museum. Wax museum. Match. Blank strings. Guitar strings, heart strings. Guitar strings. Match. Blank driver. Backseat driver, cab driver. Backseat driver. No match. E. Blank degree. Master's degree, third degree. Master's degree. Match. Blank pin. Safety pin. Oh. Oh. Fifty, Jeff with 500. Jeff, this is your chance to go for the win. Who do you want to play with? Let's play with Deborah. Okay, Jeff. Okay, Deborah Thank Harmon. You. All right, you have 500. Remember this. You have uh, you have got to be 850 to win. Let's put 45 seconds on the clock. Deborah, you ready? Ready. Jeff is too. 
Go. Blank yard. Barnyard, backyard. Backyard. No match. Blank well. Get well, wishing well. Wishing well. No match. Blank hop. Hippity hop, bell hop. Bell hop. No match. Blank diamond. Hope diamond, baseball diamond. Baseball diamond. Match. Blank car. Foreign car, armored car. Armored car. No match. Blank account. Bank account, charge account. Bank account. Match. Blank helper. Mother's helper, hamburger helper. Mother's helper. Match. Blank lamp. Table lamp, Aladdin's lamp. Table lamp. No match. Blank pocket. Oh, Air pocket, pickpocket. Pickpocket. Match. And win. <laughs> for the huge big money super match this is where you can win over, over ten thousand dollars but you already know that you've been here a couple times right. haven't you all right now to start you know how this works we start with an audience match are you ready i'm ready all right we polled a recent studio audience and got their best response to this blank opera now if you can guess the most popular answer you will get five hundred dollars if you guess the second most popular it'd be 250 or the third best answer you get 100 dollars now, you can uh, get some help from the celebrities here and list three of them if you'd like to help you fill in the blank there. Who would you like to pick? Start with Deborah. She got me here. Oh, oh Jeff, Deborah. thank you. I would say Light Opera. Light Opera. Yeah. Uh, Joe? Yeah. How about a night at the opera? Night at the opera? Night at the opera. Uh, night at the opera. Uh, night at the opera. Uh, 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 light Opera, I find half the calories. <laughs> <laughs> I would say uh, Soap Opera. Soap uh, Opera. Oh. I think I'd have to go with soap opera. I'm going to go with soap opera. Okay. Yeah. Let's see how, uh, how we do. Let's, let's take a look at the $100 answer, Wait. please. Grand Rando. old opera. Nobody had that one. The $250 answer was soap oh, opera. There you have it. Let's take a look at the $500 answer. Yeah. Phantom, Phantom, Phantom of the Opera. You have $250, which means you'll be playing for at least 10 times that, or $2,500, by playing one of our celebrities head-to-head. -head. Double that amount if you can get a lucky spin on our star wheel. Oh, hey, look at that. Why don't you take your position up there, and I'll explain this. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times, Jeff, as you know... You're going to give the, uh, the star wheel a spin. It was hardly noticeable. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like his first day on the job, isn't it, up there? <laughs> you spin this, whichever star it lands on will be your partner in the head-to-head. -head. If it does land on one of these red dots, it'll be double the money, or $5,000. All right, now see if you can spin it without throwing it off its axis. <laughs> 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 well, obviously, Charles is your partner. It did land on a W for playing for $5,000, but you have to match him head to head, and we're looking for an exact match. All right, now we need no audience uh, help here at all. We don't want to be distracting. Answer this, Jeff. Book blank. Charles, write down your answer to book blank. I'll do it soon. <laughs> Okay, it looks
looks like uh, Charles has got his well, answer. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. Okay, Jeff. <laughs> what is your answer, Jeff, to book blank? Bookshelf. Book shelf. I'm sorry, book cover. Book cover. Oh, oh it wasn't. It wasn't that. Good Oh. We had bookmark, bookworm. We had a meeting. Book. Sh we didn't think of shelf. Did you Joe, Joe, had, Joe had Joe had bookum Dano. Bookum Dano. Bookum Mark <laughs> Club. There, book were, there were a lot of different one. answers. Well, That's you didn't get good you didn't have to get that one. But you're coming back as our champion tomorrow. We'll be right back after this break. Talk about that. Well, we're just about out of time. But Jeff has collected twenty-four thousand eight hundred dollars and comes back tomorrow as our weekend champion. So there wasn't an offer there at all. Right? How did that do it? Well, we're going to take off now, but we will see you next time on Match Game, folks. Bye bye. Departing contestants will receive the revolutionary Conoco Conkai camera. One of the world's first voice activated cameras automatically takes pictures in response to sound from Conoco. Resin tells Escapade luggage collection, an inexpensive escape from traditional luggage, single shell molding, rugged construction, and every design from Resin Tell. Archway, ginger snacks, and oatmeal cookies, low in sodium, low cholesterol, and no palm oil. The good food cookies always freshen your store. This is Gene Woods speaking for Match Game, a Mark Goodson television production.